All right, I'm gonna try one more dive. Uh, a gainer. It's a dive I've never done before. Let's see if I can pull that off. I think I can. I've worked it out in my head. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I don't know about you, but performing a dive that you've only done in your head and never actually physically performed sounds like a formula that will ultimately lead to failure. Furthermore, anyone that knows how to do a gainer would tell you that the way I jumped off that tree is not how you start a gainer. Hell, I knew that, which leads me to wonder what the hell I was thinking. Good morning. Today I am in Seattle, Washington, my hometown. And most people, when they think of Seattle, they think it rains all the time here. And for the most part, that's the case. It's not a hard rain, it's more like a drizzle. But what a lot of people don't know who don't live here is Seattle has amazing summers. And that's what we're having today, an amazing summer, which is pretty exciting because for the majority of this year, it's been pretty crappy. And today, it is beautiful. So, having said that, decided to do some outdoor activity today. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna do some tree jumping. So without further ado, let's hit it. If there's one thing the city of Seattle has a lot of, it's parks. That means no matter which direction you drive, it won't be too long before you encounter one. Seward Park is not your ordinary park. Situated next to Lake Washington, its location seems to be just a stone's throw away from downtown Seattle. And as for activities, the possibilities are endless. People come here to do a wide array of activities, ranging from kayaking to just laying on the beach. But this tree is presently the reason for our being, and you're about to see why this tree serves as the main attraction for kids all across the city. All right, I just jumped in the water to see how cold it is. It's feeling really good, so I'm ready to jump. I got this life vest here. Not because I can't swim, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to be an avid diver, but I haven't dived, I haven't really done any dives in, I don't know, at least 30 years. And I'm gonna try some of the dives I did as a kid, and I don't know how that's gonna go. That might be pretty ugly. So just in case, I got this life vest. All right, this is the tree right here. Uh, it's not too high, it's probably about maybe 10 to 12 feet, but it should be able to get some good jumps off that and not seriously hurt myself, so, alright, let's do this. As I usually say in every video I make, my balance is not the best, so I was a little concerned negotiating my move up this tree, but I managed. There are plenty of branches to grab onto as you make your way up. As you move towards the top, the branches become sparse but there are still ample limbs to get you where you need to be. When I got to the top, without delay, I jumped in. I didn't want to give myself even a chance to be nervous. The water felt great. Alright, it's time for round two. It's like the perfect time to do this. One thing you should know, this spot is very popular. And a lot of kids like to come out here and uh, jump. So 
So, if you want the tree by yourself, I recommend you come early in the morning. Ready for my second jump, I again made my way up the tree. Each time I climbed the tree, my concern about my balance went away a little more. This portion of the tree was the most challenging part because there were far fewer branches to grab onto, but it was doable. Boats passed by and watched what had to seem like an idiot climbing a tree, but hey, I didn't care. Finally reaching the top, I was ready to jump into the cool refreshing water. I found this tree to be ideal for practicing my dives. From there on, the rest was history. I became one diving fool trying to do any and every possible dive I could think of. It was awesome. Each dive became more and more bold which made for an epic day. And after each dive, I became fearless like I was invincible. And that's usually around the time you get hurt. The day didn't seem to end. The camerawoman had to be getting bored as she watched me act like a 12 year old kid. It was great. Man, that felt badass. I know for you, uh divers and gymnasts out there that's no big deal but for me the average Joe that's pretty badass all right let's try a couple more and I'm gonna call it a wrap I'm gonna try uh, a basic backflip then I'm gonna do a dive that I have never done before ever in my life it's called gainer in my mind I've worked it out in my head but I've never actually done it so we'll see how that goes but before we do that I'm gonna do a backflip. Let's go. Back at it once again. I scaled a tree eager to try a new dive that I had never done before in my entire life. Feeling emboldened. What could possibly go wrong? This tree is easy to climb, which is awesome. At the very tip, there's a swing. Uh, I'm probably gonna try that at the end to see if I can grab it. I think I might be too heavy and my balance sucks, so I don't know if I'll be able to get that. But if you grab that swing, that'd be a hell of a ride off this tree. But before I could even think about swinging off the tree, I still needed to figure out how to successfully complete the dive that I had never done before. I was sure I could pull it off. But before I could attempt to do a gainer, I needed to prepare myself for a backflip. I figured that a backflip was a good preparatory dive for a gainer. After all, a gainer is essentially a reverse backflip. I got myself in position and ready for a backflip. And without hesitation, I executed my backflip. And 
now it was time for the big one, the eagerly anticipated gainer. All right, I'm gonna try one more dive. Uh, a gainer, it's a dive I've never done before. Let's see if I can pull that off. I think I can, I've worked it out in my head. So we'll see how that goes. Ready? I have never done this before. I took a moment to gather my thoughts and prepare for the dive, but I didn't give myself a whole lot of time to think about it. Like the Nike motto goes, just do it. And that's what I did. I did it. Or better yet, I tried to do it. But as you saw in the beginning, it didn't quite work out. It was at this moment I couldn't help but wonder what I was thinking because it was clear that I wasn't going to be able to pull this dive off. With little to no rotation, it looked apparent that I was going to end up doing a cannonball and that's exactly what I did. Okay, clearly I did not work that dive out in my head the way I thought because that was foobar. <laughs> but still awesome. It didn't hurt too bad. Got a little whiplash in my neck, but I'm other than that I'm good. So there's a rope swing over here. It's pretty high up. I'm gonna see if I can grab that and swing off that and see how that goes. Maybe I'll have better luck. The concern with the road swing was the fact that it was located at the end of the tree. There wasn't a lot of branches or trunks to grab onto, so I was sure I would fall off before I managed to grab the rope. But I did pretty good. Now I just had to make my way back down the tree to the point where the rope was tight and the rest would be gravy. Finally situated, it was time for one wild ride. That was amazing. And I pretty much got to do every single type of dive that I wanted to do, except for the gainer. I totally uh, bombed that one. But uh, we'll have to go back. We'll have to practice that one. Because uh, that one is more difficult than I thought it was. But if you're ever in Seattle in the summertime, make sure that you make it a point to come out to Seward Park and jump off this tree. Guaranteed a good time. And it's kid friendly. Bring your kids. Good job. If you want more information regarding this location, be sure to check out my website for more details about Seward Park. Peace.